Welcome, welcome everybody back to Nine's Corner. Oi, I can't start this video again. I, this is like the thousandth time I've tried to start it. Um, I was a little taken back after I put out my previous video um, because I got some pretty strong feelings towards it. And it really made me have to sit back and think like, is this something I really want to be doing? Because the last thing I would ever want to do is cause anybody pain or suffering, you, you know, just never. But at the same time, I can't do my readings, read my cards, if I have to do it the same as everybody else, say the same as everybody else. And I'm sorry, you know, because there's some amazing readers far better than me out there. So it's not taking away anything from them. But I, I can't watch other people and try to say and do as they say and do. I can only be um, sincere and be truthful to my cards. So I thought about it and I thought, you know, I need to take my ego out of this. Just like when I do the cards, I'm trying not to put my own personal opinion in because if, if I did, I wouldn't want Donald Trump. If you watch any of my readings, I'm always saying, I'm sorry if you like Donald Trump, but I just don't like him. But I can't falsify my cards. So I'm going to move forward and hope that, you know, you like, subscribe and share and join in my journey. And, you know, we're just looking at the energies and these energies are changing all the time. Just like if you, well, I mean, one, I put the video out on my numerology day of five, which was a huge mistake right from the get go. And then I thought about it and said, you know, maybe I should have clarified by saying that, like I've done in other videos, that this is not the end result. I can't tell you the end result because there's so much to happen in between. I mean, even in just the few days in between my last video, Donald Trump has made a deal with Russia and with Saudis so that oil production will be decreased. So like even just this little thing could put another little check mark on Donald Trump. It's not, it's not that I want him in any way, shape or form to be the next president. I have to read what's sincerely in the cards. And so to say that I cried and to say that I stressed is an understatement. And I ended up going back because, you know, I'm sure we all have our favorite movies, books and different things that help fill us up or help relieve our stress or help us make a decision in times when we get confused. So, I mean, you know, I pulled out my Leo Biscalia. I pulled out my uh, Dr. Wayne Dyer and I needed it. I needed to be reminded of taking myself out of it. And one of the things that Dr. Wayne Dyer says is that you have to be open to everything and attached to nothing because that's not where your happiness should lie. Like being attached to whether or not Donald Trump or Joe Biden becomes president is not where your happiness should lie. Your happiness should come from within. You have to fill yourself up. These are things that you need to know about and you need to think about, but they shouldn't control you no more than Anything I should say should control your happiness. Um, you know, we really have to take a lesson from what this pandemic is sharing with us and teaching us. You know, I mean, I've said in lots of videos before that Donald Trump is the head of the snake. We've got Biden, uh, not Biden, God bless him. We've got Pence, we've got Barr, we've got, you know, all the all the underlings that are supporting him. Donald Trump, you know, Barr was on the scene during the Bush years. Barr was doing underhanded things for years. Like, you know, in other readings, I said, you know, he was almost destined to be president because we needed this tremendous light to shine on the underbelly. And Trump has done that. So I thought, 
I look at the response of how COVID's affecting us and affecting each society and each place. But I thought we need to look at Donald Trump because, look, the reality is I have no I idea how that the final count is going to go down. We'll have to keep having a look as time goes into that. Um, but the one thing I can say is that we're at a dangerous time where Donald Trump can use his powers. He can use the power of the pandemic to get extra laws put in or to increase his power. He's being supplied by and, and preserved by his, um, the people that are supporting him like Barr, like Pence. And, you know, we have to be realistic about what the possibilities are. And we'll look deeper into it as time goes by. But I hope everybody understands that we're going to be okay. This is going to pass. We are going to get therapies and a vaccination. We are going to see Donald Trump leave. And we will come to a better place in this world where we'll look back at 2020 and say, I can't believe I was part of that. I can't believe we lived through that. But look how great it is now. But it takes some time to get there. So I thought, let's look and see what, how is the pandemic going to affect Donald Trump? Is he going to get sick? Because after I was, you know, when I was looking at the cars and I was thinking about the tower and the fact that that could keep Donald Trump um, give him avenues and ways to look into it, how to keep in power. Because like we said, this is a man who knows that he's done nothing but evil and he is going to be scared to death and trying to figure out hold on to his part, how to hold on to his power. And I was thinking, you know, I've seen him in the past thinking, yeah, he's, you know, I think he will get the COVID. We've talked about it before, but then I thought, you know, he would use that to his benefit. So I thought, let's look and see. Because, I mean, like we've said in lots of videos before, he's rubbed shoulders with people. They're not doing their distancing. And I want to see, will the virus affect Trump? Let's have a look. Okay. This is illness, the 10 of, um, uh, sorry, eight of pentacles. This is illness. This is illness showing up. Um, eight, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. And see, I, in previous reading, I had said about Trump having a possible out in August. So I think between now and August, we're going to hear about Trump being sick. This is him defending it. This is him um, maybe getting sympathy votes because of it. Oy, oy, oy. This three of pentacles. So I would venture to guess he's going to see himself through this. But I feel like because he's out and he's visible every day giving his, you know, daily updates, that they'll have no other choice but to tell us about this. And he will think to himself, hmm, get a little rest and relaxation because, I mean, he wants out so bad. This is his possible out, his possible ability to leave in August, but I think there's a plan greater than him and they're pulling him back. So let's just look and see what will be the effects of Pence during this time. What during this time, if Trump, and looks like by the cards, he's going to get this virus, uh, what will be Pence's response to this? What will be Pence's response to Trump getting the virus? So Pence has the magician. So Pence is going to use this time to shore up the Republican Party, to shore up uh, all the mistakes that Trump has been making, the anger that Trump has been producing. He's going to do his best to uh, manipulate and to try to put out some fires. 
this is truly winning at all costs. Um, this is Pence and the Republicans, Burr, everybody who's behind them. You know, this is not just a pandemic. This is their last fight for, for, for hold on to power. And they're hurting so many people. And in the news, you're hearing about, you know, racial tensions being up and the, the disparity. And it's all true. They need, this all needs to come to light for us to have a change. But Pence, just like everybody else, is doing his darn best to cover this up, to, to, to sure up the holes that Trump has, has made for when Trump comes back. But then we have the two of wands. So I'm wondering if this is not during the time that Trump is sick, that they don't decide, hey, maybe we should look another way to shore up the Republican Party, which would definitely give Biden a fight uh, if they were to say Pence and take a, a second person on. Or this could be Pence and the, Pence and them. This could be Trump and uh, the party looking at replacing Pence, even though I think because Trump would be after leaving due to illness and this is Pence thinking, I can manipulate the situation, I can manifest what I want, steal it behind, steal it away from Trump and give Trump the get out, which would work perfectly into the August reading. Let's look and see what, what will be Barr, because we have said in plenty of readings that Trump is the head of the snake. He really is just the puppet. And Barr and Pence and a lot of people we're probably not even aware of and other countries are the, are the ones that are actually pulling the strings. So let's look and see how is Barr going to react to Trump being sick and Pence manipulating that situation. How is Barr going to look at it? I mean, Barr is uh, ex... Um, he was under Bush, so he knows how to play the dark game. So let's see what Barr thinks. Oh, oh. so here we have the Six of Pentacles. So Barr is all about paying off, um, giving the scraps to those who he thinks... he. he, he Okay, this guy is a dark guy, very dark guy. He is, he has a, a purpose and a plan that is far beyond Trump. He, there's a money plan, there's a power grab. This is the Republicans trying to hold out and hold on to power for another four years to keep accomplishing what they want to accomplish. Here we've got the devil. This man is just, he's worse than Trump. Trump is just a selfish fool. Barr has been in this business for a really long time, back to the time of Bush. And here we've got the Six of Cups. So what Barr's plan and Barr's knowledge and Barr's um, ability, what he sees and what he wants to do, this is years in the making. And... This is also, you know, things from the past are going to come up against him, but he is paying off. There is a rhyme and reason to all the things that they are trying to do because on the one hand, they're trying to hold on to power. And on the other hand, the universe is trying to, trying to get us to wake up and let go of the old so we can make room for the new. So... Very interesting, very interesting. Um, one of the things I was going to mention, I don't know how many of you are Star Trek fans, but the best way that I could try to figure out to sum up how I feel about how things are happening, um, as I've told you before, I'm always looking for quotes and hopeful quotes and all that kind of stuff, but I'm a Trekkie. I love Star Trek. I love the idea of going into this paperless um, cash-free society where, you know, it's, we get back to the fundamentals of life and, and 
I love the idea that the time of Aquarius is bringing us into the time of communications, into the time of more Star Trekian type of inventions, you know, and I, I think this is going to be, with all the sadness that can come, it's also going to be a time of great inventions, great health cures, all kinds of amazing, wonderful things are going to happen. So in first contact, Troy, who's, who's their psychic sort of thing on the show, she said, it unites humanity in a way that no one ever thought possible when they realize that they are not alone in the universe. Poverty, disease, war, they'll all be gone in the next 50 years. So this is truly what we're being called to. We're being called to look at the possibilities that we're not alone in this world, that there's so much more and we are so connected, not just by the land and the planes and the trains and the automobiles, automobiles. we're connected spiritually and that we have to learn to come to a place of not being judgmental, to look at the good in the world. And I mean, even if you look at Donald Trump, the fact that he is bringing light to all that darkness is at the end of the day going to do us all a world of good. So, oh, my goodness. As always, here is my candle lit for each and every one of us. No matter if you watch my video or not, I put out my prayers for every single soul in and outside of this universe. Now, one of the things that I was planning on doing prior to the whole last video and I'm just gonna let it go and move on um, was that considering that it's been Easter and it's been a lockdown and it's been difficult I thought I would provide a little Easter egg so if you would like to have a free reading email reading that is I will uh, just put your name just say I'd like to have a reading under this video I'll give it a week until next Sunday. And when I like it, I'll give you a number, one, two, three, depending on how many people we get. And then you'll see me pull the name out of the hat or the number out of the hat for next week. We'll find out who that is. And you can have a free email reading. So you'll have your choice. We can either do a uh, short numerology reading. And if you have a significant other and you'd like to know if you're compatible and what your love life is looking like, we can do that. Or we can do a, um, a short numerology reading with one question. You can ask about your money, finances, job, career, what have you. Um, and as for numerology, there's two ways that I would do it. Um, First, you give your full name and birth date and that of your partners if you want to do the comparison in love because then I give you a mini numerology reading. If you're not comfortable with giving out your information, like if you just want to give your first name and your birth date, I can still do it, but it won't be um, as significant because without your last name, then your numerology reading, only three out of your six numbers would be really true based on your birth date. But that's up to you. I've not done this before, so I'm not sure how this works. So we'll work with it. Uh, so yeah, that's what I was thinking. So if you're interested, please put your, uh, just say I'm interested. I'll give you a number. And in one week's time, we'll do a pulling out of the hat and somebody will get a free email reading. So with that, wishing you light for your darkness and wishing you a happy Easter and hoping that you're staying safe, staying healthy and staying quarantined and keeping your six feet distance. So take care, guys.